I'm Jenny Carlson here with Jason Kersey. We're in Norman where Oklahoma has defeated Florida A&M 69-13. Jason, we have to start by talking about the big night that Damian Williams had. He had a huge opener at UTEP, but he had an even bigger home opener. What impressed you about him tonight? What impressed me about Damian Williams is just how he's able to do both. He's able to do the rough and tumble stuff, and he can be flashy and break off and has this breakaway speed. Uh, he's the kind of running back that really makes the Sooners offense way more versatile. Um, so I think that he's going to play an even bigger role going forward. 156 yards for the junior college transfer. That's the most ever by a Sooner in his home debut. But we have to sort of now reflect back on some of these questions coming out of that opener a week ago. Obviously, Williams, his night will make you forget a lot, but did the Sooners correct some of those problems from a week ago? Well, the run defense did look a little bit better. There were still some, uh, some issues early on, but they wound up only giving up an average, I think, 2.2 .2 yards a carry, although it is Florida A&M. You have to put that asterisk next to everything. Um, but I think that that looked better. They got those younger uh, defensive tackles and defensive ends, like Michael Noha, Charles Tapper, some of those guys more playing time. So I think that was good. There was the one bust on the long touchdown, but that really was the result of, a, of Paulson being in for Tony Jefferson, uh, and him, he's still uh, he's out with that injury. But they said that that's not too serious. So, um, so I think that there are still things they obviously have to work on, but, but things looked a little better, sure. You mentioned Tony Jefferson. He had an ankle injury in the first half. He came back in for a series, sort of looked like he retweaked it, and then spent the rest of the game on the sideline. It doesn't sound like he's going to be out, but obviously the tests become much more difficult now you've got K-State in in after an off week for these Sooners. How much more of a challenge is this going to be for a defense, and especially if Tony Jefferson maybe hobbled a little bit? Well, Tony Jefferson is going to be crucial, I think, against a team like Kansas State because Tony Jefferson is so versatile. He can come up and play close to the line and help stop that running attack, and he can play deep uh, against the pass as well. So a guy like him is going to be crucial, and, and it sounds like you know Bob Stoops said if it, if it had been a tougher game, he probably could have come back in. So I think that's probably a good sign. I think he'll probably be okay, especially with his by week. All right. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oklahoman.